Okay, so now we're going in the tab number two and it's filling. And why this is important, let me delete this that I already I already did the assignment. Let's put it here. And what happened in in this case is that you don't want to here there is a formula. Yeah. So if you remember, we learned how to add in the previous step. Now they tell you, look, what about if you have this formula? Would you add the formula a hundred times? Yeah. And you say, no, I can just fill it and the formula will appear automatically. So you don't have to do it 300 times. Okay. So this is very useful. So how you do it here, they explain it. Again, you don't have to watch this video only if you have any problem. So here you say click in the number 100. So when I click here, pretty easy. And they said restart the cursor on the lower right uh, until it become a cross. So look here, if I am in something else, the cross is very different of the cursor. However, if I click here, do you see that it become into something different? So if I click in the 100 and I go to the left, it will turn into this. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is drag and you will see, say drag down the cells. So I'm going to drag it and Excel will automatically fill and it will turn into 110, 120 and 130. Why? Because we are adding this number. So go here, go to the lower region and look. So now what happened? Because we copied the formula. Yeah, we copied this formula that it make it so much easier. Good. And now the step number four, they say now go into 200 and fill, uh, uh, fill again, but this time drag to the right. Okay. So pretty easy. So here click, here I move the cursor here and instead of going down, I'm going to the right and look here, there was a formula. I double click here and you, I can see the formula again. Here, if I don't double click, the formula will be here. But if I double click here, you will see it. Good, so pretty useful tool. Now they are telling you uh, for extra credit. Yeah, so pretty easy. Here, look, imagine that you have this, these values here, yeah? And they said, what about if you uh, highlight it, so you go, or with your mouse, or you go just shift down and you press Ctrl D. Yeah, so if you press Ctrl D, yeah, so look here, I, ch I go shift here and I press Ctrl D, so it will also do the, the same thing, okay? So if you have a mouse, you can do it like that. If you don't, you can do it with Ctrl D. Pretty easy stuff. In the next video, I'm going to go and finish the, the next section. Okay, if you have any questions, just let me know.